Alrighty, so let's go ahead and set our timer. Got our timer set for five minutes to make sure we keep this nice and simple. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw away this layer first of all because I want to build it in front of you. I just went ahead and just started a new file right here. Go to new, um, 500 by 500, the pixels, and hit OK. And let me go ahead and start from the very beginning because I don't believe that this tutorial is going to take longer than five minutes. So I got my background set to white and I got my 500 by 500 right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit shift delete and I'm going to come over here to my color and I'm going to select the color that I decide I want to choose in reference to the tutorial here. So we just go ahead and hit OK. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to be working with the clipping mask, but this is how you're able to get your image inside of a circle and place it on the web wherever you decide you want to. So you would definitely make this size centered around where you're going to put it. So whatever Twitter calls for, whatever LinkedIn calls for, whatever Facebook calls for, in reference to your size allowance, you definitely want to stay within those parameters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my elliptical tool, the circular elliptical tool down here um, in your you know panels and I'm gonna draw some guides real quick so if you come over here to your rulers if you don't happen to see your rulers you definitely want to go over here to your help type in you know uh, start to type in the word rulers and your rulers will pop up but they're under here under view and you can check those on okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here and you're gonna pull the ruler out and you'll feel it kind of snap you'll you have to kind of feel for it and we'll find the center there. There it is right there. So now that I have my tool selected, I'm going to put my little X mark right there in the center there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start to drag. I haven't hit any modifier keys, but if I hit Command and I hit Shift, let me try that again. Command, if I hold Option and Shift, sorry about that. Um, if I just hold those option then shift I'm holding both of them and I let go the foreground color that I have selected is the color of the circle now let me go ahead and zoom in here for you real fast whoa that's too much you see that little black line there it's kind of showing your path when you click outside of that that path will go away so now what we're going to do uh, to complete this clipping mask that we're creating here where you can put yourself inside of a circle what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our image that we decide we want to add to the um, our little deal right here and we're going to have the point tool you're just going to drag it over and you're going to hold shift and you're going to let go and you're going to drop it right in the center now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold my option key on this top layer make sure that you know your specimen is right here on the top I'm going to hold the top I'm going to hold the option on the top layer and when I mouse between the um, line there and I click there that's where your picture will go right inside that image we can hit command H to hide those guidelines you can kind of move this thing around and center it to wherever you decide you want to we no longer need this right here and our mission is completely complete that's it that's all it is to it only thing we're going to do from here is we're just going to save it and we will have you know this image as a JPEG a PNG whatever you decide you want in reference to you know creating a clipping mask to put yourself in any type of shape whatever you decide you want to do you know so it's that simple I mean it's it's really uh, really quick and easy um, you see we left all kind of time on the clock here you know and we can even go over here if we wanted to you can double click there you can do a drop shadow uh, you can do a you know inner shadow if you decide you want to to give it more style to it you can kind of look like I'm really embedded inside that circle there all kind of fun things you can do with it so go ahead and give it a try um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my image and I'm going to give you this you know elliptical circular tool with this background as a help file you know over on Udemy if you're in the class and the course in Udemy and uh, you can kind of start from there see the way I broke it down and kind of take it from there so I will see you in the next tutorial, and uh, thank you for being a part of this one. All right, bye-bye now.